carving a turkey well. You might be an electric knife user, nothing wrong with that, it works perfectly. Uh, but I prefer to take this thing apart and do it my way. We are going to move our turkey onto the board. Obviously I'm reserving all these juices. Again, terrific for stock. I can drizzle some on them. I can throw it in the fridge, let the fat separate. I can use the fat for my hash and then the liquid for another gravy or a sauce or a soup or anything like that. So to get started, first you wanna remove the thermometer that comes with it, the pop-out thermometer. They're fairly accurate. They tend to pop out right at the exact moment the turkey's done. So if you see it pop out or you're watching for it, take it out right away and let it rest because at that point you begin to overcook. First thing I do is remove the thighs, starting at the joint of the leg bone. And if I've done it properly, and by the way, uh, these turkeys do come with a little piece of twine around the legs that keep them together so you don't have to trust the turkey itself. So right there, you can see I've split that area and I'm just gonna cut around Ah, oh, all that juice. Should have let it rest longer. The longer you let it rest, the less juice is going to escape. I'm just going to sit that down a little bit, and if I've cooked it properly, which I believe I have, it should come apart fairly easily. Not too much chopping. And I'm just going to cut out against the carcass, against that rib cage cut through. We'll just sit that there for a moment. Oh, this smells incredible. You can see how juicy it stayed, even though I didn't brine it. Just a little bit of slower cooking, taking the time to baste it. Lots of that herb butter, good amount of salt and pepper. And I stuffed it with oranges, lemon, onion, some fresh herbs, because basically it allows it to really steam from the inside as it begins to cook. Uh, next, I'm going to take off the wing. And that is just fall apart tender right there. Now, when you're cutting joints on a bird, there's always gonna be a point where you can cut very easily. All you have to do is search for that point with your knife. If you hit bone, it's not gonna go through. When you hit the edge of where the joint is, it'll cut right through it, no problem. You know what, let's just put those on our tray. And I'll show you the same idea. If you look at where the leg and the thigh meet and you cut at an angle, you're generally going to hit exactly where it cuts cleanly. If you try to cut it like that and keep that whole shape of the leg, then you encounter the bone and it's a lot harder. So let's see if I can nail this on one shot. Nope, missed it. Oh, got to feel around for it. Oh, there we go. It's always an easy point. Just got to hunt for it. That's a beautiful leg right there. I'm going to just taste that. All right. That really feels like Thanksgiving. Honestly, this is the first traditional bird I've cooked this season, and I think I was missing it. That tastes like Thanksgiving. That is so good. All right, now for the breast. So, not overly complicated, but basically what you wanna do is find where the center of the breastbone goes, and there's two breasts, right? One on each side. We're gonna cut in along the breastbone, and once I have a cut and I can feel the breastbone against the knife, I angle the knife slightly towards the breastbone and just cut along it. And again, it's kind of a feel your way. And once I've gotten down to where the knife stops, that's where the breastbone curves out, I'm gonna come at it from underneath, cut along, and then basically just use the edge of my knife to slowly pull it away. And I kinda wanna leave as much of the carcass itself intact and just get the breast off on its own. And you can see I'm just going in there gently, small cuts, it'll allow me to pull the turkey breast away easily and allows me to keep that whole skin intact. And I'm trying to do this so y'all can see it perfectly. I'm gonna come in from this side, same idea. And then once you can peel it away, you're just looking for that, that point of no resistance or of minimal resistance. And uh, I'm gonna leave that wing bone on if I can. And I believe I can. Oh yeah. All right, move that off to the side. So here we have our turkey breast. If you've have ever had uh, airline chicken breast, like at an event, they always leave this wing bone on. I just did it for fun, I'm taking it off now. 
It's kind of a fancy presentation at times. That is a nice wing right there. And now, this allows us to slice our turkey breast without disturbing the skin too much. Have a nice presentation. If you put it on a platter versus carving to order, it's kind of an easy way to do it. So again, medium thin slices, roughly half an inch. Gently does it all the way through. Ooh, that looks good. It's just unbelievably like moist, succulent, juicy. It just, it's incredible. These are such good turkeys. Whew. Hope some of you have put some jokes in there because I haven't found a good turkey joke yet. All right, right onto our platter. Try to keep it all together and then I'll spread it out when it gets there. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. And just a little bit of those pan drippings right over the top of everything. <laughs> 